Welcome to Once Upon a Pipe. It's uh, another beautiful day here in the bluegrass state of Kentucky. And I want to talk to you, share with you about my experience of going to see the Vice President of the United States while he was in Kentucky earlier this week at a place called More Than a Bakery in Versailles, Kentucky. It was a very positive experience for me and that may come as a shock to some people um, but it actually was a very very good experience. I asked my son at the conclusion of that event and as we were traveling back I asked him I said son did did you hear any foul language any bad words out there he said no um, did you see any obscene clothing or gestures you know shirts jackets anything printed with um, um, bad language on it he said no I asked him if let this ambulance go by. I asked him if he was in any way, shape, or form mistreated. You know, did anybody disrespect him in any way, shape, or form, either because he was a kid, you know, young young teenager? or because he was um, uh, biracial or anything, and he said no. So, all of that to say, it was a good experience for him. Uh, he was treated well. You know, it was a pretty crowded area that we were in. Just getting on the bus to get to the facility was crowded. Uh, and during that time, um, I found that I was treated well also. People were very friendly. I met people from probably four or five different states. Um, the Even the security staff uh, was very, very kind to me. And um, it, it, it just ended up being a very good experience. So... The information that was given by the vice president in regards to the tax reforms and how that uh, affects Kentuckians as well as the rest of America is is very good. Um, I know it affects me and my family directly because under Obamacare, which has been repealed. Uh, by the Trump administration. Um, this year, we were fined $2,195 for not having health care. And I, I just uh, finished our taxes last week. Um, so how does that play out? Next year, we won't have that fine, thank God. Also, I do... Uh, one of my functions in the job that I have as an office manager is I do payroll. So, in doing payroll, I can tell you that for the business I work for, it's a small business. It's an electrical contract, employs about um, 27 people right now, including the owners. I can tell you for a fact that all of those guys working that got their checks or will pick up their checks today have more money in their checks today than they did at the beginning of the year because of the tax reforms. I have more money in my check uh, and so does everybody else. So those crumbs, as some politicians refer to them, uh, 
those crumbs end up being a huge blessing to people like me. Um, not only that, but I think because of those reforms, we're going to see wages go up. This is from my personal experience, not, not somebody else's story, not what I've heard on the news, but this is my experience. And um, all that to say that if I listen to the news, I can become very discouraged. And if I believe everything that the news tells me, on whatever side, left or right, um, it can get delusional. So the best thing for me is to just go and experience something for myself, like going to see the vice president. Um, oddly enough, if there was any rudeness or anything like that, it would have come from protesters and not those inside. So it was a good, good learning experience and a good field trip for me and my and my son um hopefully on another note i will uh be able to get some more videos out and uh i'm enjoying having my vehicle back this is the first full day that i've had it back so uh it feels good to 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 be back in my uh in my vehicle truly 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 uh, let me say this. I will agree 100% with the Vice President on this remark. We need to pray for our nation. To make a difference which side you're on. We need to pray for our nation. Our, and our nation needs a lot of healing and a lot of help. And uh, as he said, if you are so inclined to bow your head and bend your knee and say a prayer uh, I would encourage you to do so but that's it for this brief moment on Once Upon a Pipe may the Lord bless you and I hope you have a great day